Too many people don't like who they are. They focus on their faults and weaknesses. They relive their mistakes and failures. They wish they were different. If they were taller, had a better personality, looked like their cousin, instead of accepting themselves as a masterpiece made in the image of God, they're critical toward themselves. And they wonder why they're not happy, why they don't have good relationships. It's because they don't like themselves. If you don't get along with you, you're not going to get along with other people. Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You can't love others if you don't first love yourself. The best thing you can do for your family, for your friends, is be good to you. Be kind to you. Be merciful to you. Be forgiving to you. Be loving to you. You're good to others. Why aren't you good to you? You don't criticize your friend. Why are you criticizing you? You compliment your coworker. When's the last time you complimented yourself? You admire their talent. Why don't you admire your talent? Start being good to you. That's not being selfish. That's not arrogant. That's loving yourself. Too many people go through life against themselves, feeling wrong on the inside. I heard someone say, I discovered the enemy, it was me. Are you your enemy? Are you defeating yourself, limiting your dreams, sabotaging your relationships, all because you don't like you? You have enough people and circumstances against you. Don't be against yourself. How much do you love yourself? Because if you understand the value of self-love, you'll never be friends with those type of people. Most of the people out here are running around empty. They have no sense of self, no sense of self-love. When I say self-love, it has nothing to do with celebrity, money, materialistic things, nothing to do with cars and any of the superficial things that one would assume that could make you love yourself even more. It's a matter of knowing your value. It's a matter of you saying, I don't have to be around these people in these type of environments and situations in order for me to finally see the value in myself. I love me independent of you loving me. I believe in me. I know my self-worth. I know clearly that I'm a child of God and God has a purpose over my life. And if he didn't, I wouldn't be here anymore. And I don't need you to tell me that. I don't need you to validate me. If you don't love yourself and value yourself, there is nothing else in your life that's going to be enjoyable or in the right order. You need to be your own best ally, your own best friend. Don't be against yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. Come on, some of you, your biggest problem right now, all the problems you think you have your biggest problem is you don't like yourself. Okay, what right do you have to be against yourself when Jesus died to save you? When he loved you so much that he died, the painful death that he died for you, what right do you have to be against yourself? How many of you believe you're called to love other people? Well, one of you said, absolutely. Well, guess what? You can't do that if you don't love yourself. And I'm not talking about in a selfish, self-centered way. I'm talking about in a healthy, balanced way. I can only love myself because God loves me. And if he's perfect and he can love me, then surely I can receive that love and let that love flow through me back out to other people. When you wake up in the morning, don't lie in bed and think of everything wrong with you. What you don't like about your looks. Relive your mistakes. Why didn't I finish college? I should be more disciplined. I lost my temper yesterday. Instead of focusing on what's wrong with you, start focusing on what's right with you. You may have weaknesses. You made mistakes. We all have. But there's a lot more right with you than there is wrong with you. Dwelling on the negative doesn't help you to do better. Beating yourself up for past mistakes doesn't move you forward. The better you feel about yourself, the better you'll do. The more you like yourself, the further you'll go. You can't give away what you don't have. If you're in turmoil on the inside, mad at yourself, critical, condemned, that's what you have to give. If you're hard on yourself, you'll be hard on others. If you don't forgive yourself, you won't forgive others. If you don't get along with you, how can you get along with your family? The best thing you can do is start being for you. When you love yourself, then you can love others. When you're kind to yourself, then you can be kind to others. It starts with you.
love. It's actually the answer to finding our self-worth. Everybody in the world just wants to be valuable. We just want to know that we matter. We want to know that we mean something to somebody. And sadly, if people don't get a good start in life, they can waste, yes, I said waste, their whole entire life searching for self-worth. And they look for it in all the wrong places, in what they do, the people they know, the label in their clothes, how they look. Very often, it's what kind of work that people do. They think that they're valuable if they can be the president or have their name on an office door, but they feel like they have no value if maybe they do some kind of a menial job. The thing we have to understand that our worth and value is not and never can be in any of that. Maybe we look more valuable to the world, but not to God. You are valuable. Not because you look a certain way or don't look a certain way. Not because you have uh, some kind of a title that goes along with your job or because you do whatever you would think would be the lowliest job on earth. Your value is not tied up in any of that stuff. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. Independent of the validation of the world. Have opinions and feelings about yourself. Independent of the feedback. Why you got to have somebody calling you beautiful every day in order for you to feel beautiful? Do you believe that you're beautiful? Or do you only believe you're beautiful when other people say that you're beautiful? I love me. So the day that you decide to stop loving me, I'm not going to love myself any less. I believe in me. If you stop believing in me, I'm not going to believe in myself any less. If you believe that I'm irrelevant, that no one is checking for me, and that I don't mean anything to the world, because you think or believe that about me, it doesn't, believe, it doesn't mean that I'm going to believe it about myself. See, the day that you start living your life according to everybody else's opinion is the beginning of the end. There's no hope of making any progress in our life. There's no hope of getting from the test to the testimony if we don't learn that we are deeply loved. Psalm 2710 says, even though my mother and my father have forsaken me, the Lord will take me up and adopt me as his own child. God is so much more important than any person in the world. Let's look at Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. Even as in his own love, he chose us, actually picked us out for himself as his own in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be wholly consecrated and set apart for him and blameless in his sight, even above reproach, living before him in love. God just didn't get stuck with you. He chose you. Do you understand me? I'm going to tell you why you're worth something and worth just as much as anybody else on the planet because God loves you and because he sent his only son to die for you. And if, if you would have been the only person on the earth, he would have still done the same thing. I mean, God loves everybody. We can accept that. But God loves you on your worst day just as much as on your best day. You know why? Because love is not something that God is even able to turn on and off like we do. You see, love is not even really something God does. It's who he is. God is love. And I believe it's the love of God that rescues us. It's the love of God that heals the brokenhearted. You may be laying in a bed sick. You may be sitting in a chair somewhere deeply depressed. You may have been abused in your childhood. You may have been rejected, abandoned. Perhaps your spouse just walked off and left you with a house full of kids and you don't know what in the world you're going to do and you feel like the tail end of everything and that nobody loves you and you don't even love you. Well, I want you to listen to me. God loves you. I said, God loves you. And I want you to receive that right now by faith. I want you to step out and say, can God love me? Yes, God can love you because God is perfect and he can do anything that he wants to. And he doesn't love you because you deserve it. And that's what makes it so amazing. He loves us in spite of ourselves. God loves you. It doesn't matter who doesn't love you. God does love you. Amen.